Hello. I am super excited. I just got a doll in the mail. And I hope she's as beautiful as she was online. Before I open that box, though, she is a mechanical BJD doll. And I didn't get the whole set that has, like, the shoes and the outfit and, and everything. I just got the doll. So... I decided to get her a wig and I got this off of Amazon I like to go bargain clearance shopping at Amazon so um, depending on what things are if I can get something used for a little bit less I will so I got this off of um, what I call clearance at Amazon this is the wig let's take a look at it real quickly See what it looks like. Okay. Lynn Fairy wig in red brown. It's a eight to nine inch wig. So I'm hoping it fits this doll. I really, really hope I bought the right size. If not, I will find it a purpose and in this package there is a comb and here is the ooh pretty hold on this looks really nice I like it oh my goodness We'll see what the inside of the wig cap looks like. There's some. Get a bit of that in there. Take that out. And nice. It's a little stretchy too, so if her head's a little bigger, it should stretch on. If it's smaller, we can always cinch it in. I guess if it's too big, I can always clip it in a couple of spots. But I like the way this looks. She's going to have some luxurious hair. So, the doll that I got is from a company. I think it's Yukonon or Yukonon. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But... They have mechanical joint BJD dolls, which I guess is technically a BJD because it's got ball joints, but I guess in that case, Barbie would be a BJD too. It's not strong. It's made kind of like a big giant made to move Barbie. That's kind of what those dolls remind me of. So this is my first one. And again, I just got just the doll without the accessories or anything. Because I plan on making my dolls clothes. So okay. So, I got her because she just looked so unique. I have to have her. And she's supposed to be a 24 inch doll. There's my um, Rainbow High Amaya Rain. She is 24 inches, so I can probably just put this box next to her and kind of get a comparison okay the box is smaller than her if you can see that so this doll is not quite 24 inches unless she's bent a little bit which could be but here's the company
And again, she's one of those mechanical dolls, but let me not smash her hair. Okay. Let's open this. back I'm gonna take the last two. I don't know what's okay. about the last subscribers. Oh, okay. I have to cut. Okay, now it's opening. Yay. Okay, the moment. I reveal. Oh, she's upside down. Okay, let's turn her around. doing this with one hand. Oh, I so hope she is as beautiful as she was online. She's, oh, I'm already excited and I haven't even seen, I just seen her feet. Look, oh, she's got painted toes. Oh my goodness, so cute, so cute. Yeah, I think she might be. A little bit taller just because her knees and stuff were bent Oops. her knees and stuff were bent inside let's see what's in here first the brochure what's in here offline stores blah, blah, blah. La la la. Oh, care instructions. Sweet. Oh no. What is this? <gasps> it's a finger. I hope it's not one of hers. That would be tragic. I'll just glue it back on if it is. Okay. I did pay $100 for her. But I'm not a picky person. Let's see. She's got... Four fingers there. Let's check the other side. Oh my goodness. I think that was her finger. Look, her arm's not even on. Oh no, is she broken? I hope not. This is kind of tragic. Hold on, everybody. Dolly's broken. No. Look, that is her finger. That sucks. And her arm is broken too. Poor thing. And she is gorgeous, by the way. Look. Aw. She is so gorgeous. Okay. It's okay, doll. You are okay. Where did that finger go? There it is. Okay. Paid $100. A little upset that her finger and her arm is broken. But I love broken dolls. I like fixing dolls. I like taking them apart and doing something different with it. So I'm going to keep her because then she's just going to go back to Amazon or wherever she came from and sit on a shelf the rest of her life because not too many people want a broken doll. So we are going to fix her. But 
I totally love the way she looks. Look at her face. Her eyelashes are a little wonky. It's okay, girl. It's okay. You will still be loved. And then you can, like, open up the back of her head and change out her eyes. But I am not doing any of that. I'm leaving her just the way she is. She came. Oh, with purple gem shoes. Oh, my goodness. This is my favorite color, too. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to compare her. Let's see. Let me stand her straight ish, straight ish. So she's a little bit shorter than 24 inches. Here, I'm going to put her over here on my board and see what her measurements are. So I've got her down at the pretty close to the zero mark and. The top of her, oh, she's about 21 and a half inches. So, yeah. Poor thing. I am so sorry your arm is broken, your finger is broken, but we are going to fix you up. Now, I just want to see what she looks like with her hair on. Let's see. She's like, put me some clothes on, please. No, she's like, thank you that you still like me even though I don't have my arm. It's not my fault. It was not your fault. It's nobody's fault. Things like that happen. Okay, I'm going to put her hair on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. So it turns out the little cap on the top of her head is broken too. Look at that. That's supposed to be attached to there, and then it's supposed to turn. You can just pop that on, I'm sure, or glue it or whatever we're planning on doing. But I'm going to just pop that on for now, and then we're going to put her hair on. Okay. Here she is. With her hair on, which I think looks super cute. I put the... um little part to the side a little bit i might have put it a little too far but i think she can stand by herself she's got flat feet but she is standing on a rug let's see what it looks like when she stands up let's see can we get her to stand i'm sure we can she feels off balance because her arm is missing. It's okay. Okay, so even wonky, she's kind of standing up. I'm holding her right here because I've only got one hand to do this. Let's see what her, her articulation is. Let's see. Um, her head's a little stiff. I think it moves side to side, but I'm not. It doesn't look like it tilts or anything. Um. So her arms, they go out. This part turns. That one, we're gonna fix her. No worries, girl, no worries. Okay. That's how far her elbow goes. Let's see what her arms do. They turn back and forth, and they go up and back, like that. And, let's see, hip socket, it kind of clicks into different positions, it feels like. Let's see how far out her will go. Sorry, the thing is so shaky, but yeah, keep bumping into it. So, let's 
sorry. She's like the angle though. The angle. And her leg rotates right here. Knee joint. Leg goes pretty far back and to the side. And her foot goes back and forth. I don't know that her, her foot rotates though. It doesn't look like it rotates, but it does tilt forward and back. So. She is begging for her outfit. She wants a dollar store sock outfit. Oh, I have an extra one that I had on my. Ah, she fell back. It's okay. We are going to fix her up because she is still wanted. Oh, some little. I think this is for wigs. You put that on the. Um, the wig and put on her hair and it like holds her secure. I don't think I need that, but we'll see. That's what I'm assuming that's for. <laughs> Otherwise, let's see her fingers. They are so cute. I feel bad that she's broken, but it's going to be okay. I'm not going to send her back. I'm just going to fix her. Because if I send her back, she will spend the rest of her life on a shelf somewhere. Which I don't think is that cool. So. Um, got her. So we're going to have some projects to do. Oh, wig cap. This was with the um, comb with the wig. I didn't even see that. I was just itching to open up the doll. Didn't even notice that. But I'll give you updates on her progress of um, repair and whatever we come up with craft-wise. Because I got her to make crafts with her. So that's why I didn't get the whole set of clothes. Because that was going to be an extra $70, $80, $90. And she won't even be wearing that stuff. Because I'm going to take it all off and make her stuff. So... I figured I didn't even want to go through the process of buying that. I'll just get her. So, overall, I am very, very satisfied with what I purchased. She was $100 um, on Amazon. The wig was like $13 because it was um, in the used clearance section, which I am very satisfied with that as well i like her despite the fact that she came a little damaged but we're gonna fix her up and she's gonna be okay i will keep you guys updated on what projects we come up with bye okay this video is all over the place but so I tried to repair her arm. It's coming loose a little bit. So I probably will just make a joint out of like some epoxy, epoxy scope in the future. But at least it's on her. See how loose that is. But she does have an arm. I could heat it up and redo it again, but... I'm not that, I don't feel that ambitious at the moment. But I do want to take a closer look at her face sculpt. So she doesn't have that anime look as quite as much. Her facial features are very realistic in proportion. And I just wanted to show that as well. And her head actually does move to side to side. And... It, it turns side to side. I don't know if you see that. But it tilts a little bit. Not like some dolls that tilt a lot. But 
you can kind of get a little bit of you can get it to pose a little bit I will color her root her um, seam right there a little bit darker since it doesn't quite match her skin tone so that'd be another project a little finger okay hold on let me see it I'll be painting that smoothing it out I might use some uh, like some epoxy scope on that too in the future but regardless of her little flaws here and there she is still a very beautiful doll and I believe this doll might have been a return or something because in the bag her face like the little plastic face plate and everything was off so I'm guessing something happened so she got a second life apparently I think she was returned she just kind of looked like she wasn't in her bag like she originally was meant to be her like I said her little plastic face plate was off her arm was somewhere and her finger was down in the in the box so Yeah, I think I might work on that joint a little more in the future for sure but she is just a gorgeous doll and this wig fits her really nicely too so this is again a size 8 to 9 and she is a considered a ball joint doll but she's not a strong ball joint doll. She doesn't have string or elastic holding her joints together. She has mechanical joints. So um, that's a little different than the regular ball joint job. Ball don't, joint dolls. Ooh, that is so hard to say. That's why we call them BJDs. Mm -hmm.